Hey guys, how's it going? It's Josh with Lake Erie Events, and I'm here to, tell you, to talk about the American DJ Event Table 2, the Event Pro Table 2, whatever it's called. I bought this about a week ago, and it came in, and I was very excited to use it last weekend, but I ran into some problems. I ran into some things I wish I knew about it. I ran into some things that I don't like about it. I'm going to talk to you all about that today. This is, again, this is my ADJ Event Table, and... You'll notice we have made a facade of sorts with it. It's going to look a little different. I'm going to go over that with you guys here. First of all, I'm not going to necessarily show you guys how the event table goes up. I'm not going to do it like others have done. You can YouTube that. It literally is two pieces of the table here that split right down the middle. And you put those two together. Then you put these two metal rods in. You add the tabletop and you're done. Now there is some more that we can do to it. There is four thumb screws that go in on the sides just to keep these tight. Uh, personally, when I put some heavy equipment on here, I don't worry about that. I have an SZ2 and a set of turntables that are gonna be very heavy on here. Um, on top of that also, fun fact, um, there's more thumb screws on this side. So what don't I like about it? Well, let's start out with the first thing right out the gate. My event table came warped. Looking at the front of it, you have that piece, which pretty much kind of fits the way it's supposed to. Those two pieces don't connect all the way. The bottom gets even worse. You have a good centimeter there. It's not connecting all the way. And I've tried my hardest. It came warped. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, it's, I don't, it seems to be a, a factory flaw where it just doesn't, it, they don't fit. Um, the top ones and the bottom ones, the bottom one's in all the way, the top one's in all the way, but the middle two don't. And that's how I know it's warped. Because if, if the bottom wasn't going in all together, it'd be fine, but it, it doesn't. And that's a problem. Because of that, my sign was a little bit of a pain. It didn't go in all the way. I literally had to very rough force my sign to go in. So that was the first thing is that I noticed that the QC on these, it, it didn't fit. And that was a problem I had with it. The follow-up problem I have, all of these pipes are one inch thick. Because of that, you if you have a standard O-clamp, which I think I might have here somewhere. This right here is a standard ADJ, one and a half inch, or you can take out these inserts and it's a two inch clamp. This one and a half inch fits perfectly on speaker poles. And I use it on my T-bar. I use it on several things. Well, it is too big for the event table. So when I had the, the, the trussing up and I put on my TV and my lights, all of them were not snug. I wish someone told me that last week I made it work because of these rivets. The stuff wasn't going anywhere but um, I need to buy different clamps, and I did not know that when I first bought it. I assumed that this would be the same as speaker stands or global stands or any of those things. Again, here's the standard I-beam. Fits like a glove. Here is some crank stands, but there's still standard speaker pulls on the end. This fits like a glove, and even Here's some global truss. Taking out that middle insert, that's two inches. So again, two inches standard global, one and a half for all your standard aluminum metal. This thing is only one inch. That was something I did not know about. It. Well, with my turntables and my TV, two moving heads and two wash lights on it, this thing did not bend, did not teeter, none of that. It worked out very well. And I used, again, I used the I-beam. I'll show you a clip over this of what that looked like. Um, the TV that we use is uh, 22 pounds. The I-beam is rated for 100 pounds or less. So the moving heads were 12 pounds each. We're using the DJ Intimidator 260s. The TV was 22 pounds. We're only at 50 pounds or less. The wash lights are like five pounds each. So plenty of room to spare, a TV and four lights on this thing. That was pretty cool. Just in case someone asked me, um, I, I did do my own custom sign. That is the ADJ sign that came with it. We put white on the back of it with a, a vinyl white, and then we just, this is on the, the, the vinyl print on top of it for our logo. 
we did do that. Um, Vivit, which is a local company here in Erie, Pennsylvania, Mark there uh, has taken care of us several times. He did that for us. Came out really good. But I like that, you know, the idea of it is you can see what the DJ is doing. You get that global industrial club look. And I love that. The only problem I have with that, this is not big enough for any nightclub DJ that is trying to use this look. Let me show you. This is my main DJ nightclub rig. Two Reloop 7000s, and that right there is my Pioneer S9. That is the 10-inch case. Those are both the standard Odyssey black label turntable 1200 cases. So again, those are all the standard size road cases. I want to say Odyssey probably has the most common popular ones as well. Well, let's go ahead and let's just show you how they all fit. So here you go. With all three pieces on here, they don't fit. I have to take my, my turntables out of the cases at every gig. Well, that's not an intensely big problem. Man, and these road cases are, are built and designed that you can literally use them without taking them out of the cases. This is a big flaw. It is about, I'd say, one to two inches too small to do this. That is touching side to side. That is touching side to side. This guy right here, let me show you if I can. If I touch it to the side over here, you'll see. About an inch. That is a design flaw. That is a huge design flaw. Um, and then obviously you wouldn't have any spare room. And not entirely, you know, the length isn't is, is kind of ideal. But if you wanted to use this little hole that they give you, which I can't even show you right now. Uh, that's covered up entirely by my case. So that ain't gonna work. May I would have liked maybe three holes in each corner. That would have probably worked as well. There you go. There's a design flaw number two. It's not big enough for a DJ that uses turntables to use the cases. If I take out the cases, they do fit with room to spare, but um, it just it wasn't ideal for what I wanted. I will add as a, as a plus, the height of these is perfect, where your standard table's gonna be down here somewhere. If I don't have to elevate my cases, or I theoretically, if this fit all the way I wanted it to, I wouldn't even have to put the tops on the bottoms. I would just be able to use it. The height's perfect for this table. I want, that's what I'm trying to say. I will add that the SZ2 fits on this case, no problem, um, with the case. Um, the NS7 III, the M, M, you know, the Denon 8000, the Prime 4, they're all gonna fit fine. But if you're using turntables, and I, I'd even argue maybe CDJ cases, you gotta take them out of the case. And that, that's, that's a design flaw. We're literally talking two inches. How did no one think of that? With, like I said, those are Odyssey black label cases. They're the same size as the regular Odyssey 1200 and 10 inch case. I would assume that those are probably the most popular road cases for the turntables and mixers. And, and I'd argue that coffins are obviously going to be even bigger than that. So that's not going to work either. And just to capitalize on that comment of it being long enough, the table is 23 and a half inches by 47 and a half inches. So 47 and a half is the, the number that people are going to really want to know. 47 and a half is what you got to fit lengthwise. So the first night I used this, you're going to see a picture here of, we did a prom and I literally got this in the mail on Thursday and it worked really, really well. I, I fell in love with the table. I realized I had to take my mixer out of the case and all that, but um, you could see underneath it. And that was something I, I, I tried. I was going to like, you know what? I'll do my best. I have an amp rack that has my microphone, my power conditioner, and a drive rack in it and i assumed that you know i could try to do my best with wires but no because when i added the hdmi cable which was too long and i added the power cables for the speakers and all that man and my monitor wire this whole thing got really messy very quickly so i realized on that night i had to come up with some sort of facade to cover the bottom half of this table on the second night on sat the following night on saturday i had a wedding and we set this whole thing up again, and I took the ADJ event facade that I used to have. If you guys aren't familiar with the facade here, 
you get four pieces that, that, that clip together and replaceable white or black scrim. And by the way, this facade is worth every penny. I'll add that. And it, it, they're Velcro. So what I decided to do is I took all four of those pieces, the white ones, which I should have tried the black ones and I didn't have them, but I took the white ones that wedding and I hung them on the bottom here. I went to Walmart and I bought these little Velcro pieces. I put them on the facade and I just tried to, to, to Velcro it on. Now, unfortunately that event facade is too big. So you saw creases, you saw lines, you saw the divider down the middle. That did not look good either. I'd argue that might have, it, it covered my wires, but it arguably made the whole thing look a lot worse. So we had to come up with another solution still. That is when I saw on, 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 on YouTube, People that were going to Home Depot, Brian Red, as well as a couple other videos have mentioned it, went to Home Depot. They bought this plastic work board, which is very, very cheap. I mean, it's, it's bendable. It's cuttable. You can use just a, a, a regular a box cutter, and this tears right in half. It's very, very cheap. Mine got damaged on the way home. It was so cheap. I bought two of these, and what I did is I cut it to size of each one of these pieces. And I decided to cut it so that they were the, ta the table height, not the actual whole thing. Cause I still want you to see the top. I want you to see my turntables. I want you to see what I'm doing as a working mixing DJ. I'm not a guy that's just pushing play. You know, I want you to see that. And I, I put all those on there with the Velcro and it looked good, but it was missing something. It was really, really missing something. So what we did is we went and just today, and right here in the garage, I, I spray painted all four of those black. Just some standard, everyday, this is what my Walmart was selling. Spray paint, gloss, glossy. Maybe I should have done the matte also looking over this, but I think the gloss looks better from standing farther away, but the matte would have matched my sign. So really it's up to you what you get with that. But I got the gloss black, primer black, put two coats on, and then I hung all this up, and that's when the end result looks like this. And I think that this is ideally perfect, actually. This looks really good. This looks very clean. I can hide everything I want behind it and underneath it. You're not going to see any of this. And what's nice is, give me two seconds here to take this whole thing apart. And I'll show you. What's nice about this is, these are just velcro on. So, I could take off these if I ever needed to. If I'm doing an event where maybe I have a front of house sound or I have, I'm able to put my drive rack behind me somewhere or something and, and this, I can literally just run my wires clean underneath here without having power strips or amp cases or whatever. I could take this off still and that's ideal for me. Um, but then the final result, as you can see, came out really good. I think that this is perfect. I can hide my wires. Um, I would, if I, if I were to give advice to people, when you cut it, cut the, the, the height all the way around, but keep in mind that you are going to have to trim for these bars. You see that that one up there is noticeably taller than this one over here. Um, I wish if I were to recut it today, I would make this part taller, but this is a little bit of a hack for the ADJ event table. I wish ADJ would actually realize that tons of people are, are arguing with themselves, hey, you know, we like this look, but we want to cover the backside of it. And, and making like three plastic pieces with clips built onto them or something would be perfect. And, and, and I would buy it in a heartbeat, American DJ, if you did it, for the record. I will say that loud and proud. <laughs> but um, there you go. That is what I did to my ADJ event table. I'll be using it for a wedding again on Saturday. I'm booked all summer. I'm very blessed to be as busy as I am all the way up until Halloween. May, May, the first week of May until the last week of October, I have weddings every Saturday. So this is gonna be my new setup. Whether or not we use the, the, the turn, the, I'm sorry, the, the moving heads and the TV every week, or we use the SZ and the turntables every week, I, I'm gonna switch it up. The TV is something that I really like the look of it. 
um, using my clamps and my specific brand of TV that I bought, I'm actually able to stand underneath that. I'm about 5'10", five, five, and I'm able to stand underneath that no problem without hitting my head. But I do hit my head on the, on the moving heads. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Thank you for watching. If you really like this video and you like what I did to this event table, leave a comment. Hit that like button, please. And uh, don't forget, I also do gig logs every single Friday. I'm sorry, every single Sunday right here on my channel. I recap a gig log for you guys. Um, and because of the, how busy we are this summer, we should be able to do that all the way up until pretty much Christmas of, of doing gig logs every week for you. So thank you for watching. There's my event table, what I did to it. And maybe I hope I helped you guys out with this. Anyway, there you go. You guys get a look at the ADJ event table too. My mods, what I like about it and what I didn't like about it, what I wish I knew about it. Now, what's my final results with this? My my clear, you know, my final words. Um, I like it. I still like the concept of it. I like that I'm going to stand out now. I like that I can have my logo on it. I like the trussing look. I like the the eye beam for it. I just feel like it was a little. I don't know. It's missing the small details that really could have made it almost an industry standard if it was big enough to fit something like turntables if it uses if it was basically standard global truss um standard one and a half inch or two inch piping would be normal um i wish it was big enough to hold turntables and a mixer and a case which it's not um it's not perfect i'm going to continue to use it i'm very happy with my mod now that i showed you guys how to do it so let me know what you guys think. This video was a lot of work. Thank you for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. If you have any questions, thank you guys for watching. Peace.